Hey guys, it's Fiery Red Hero 8. Welcome to my next Let's Play. This is actually the first Zelda game that I ever played. And I got it in a package for the Wii back when it was so popular that you could not find it anywhere. You had to scavenge online really hard. And this game came with a package that my mom ordered for me for Christmas. I really had no intention of playing it, but one day I was bored, so I popped the game in, and little did I know that I was about to get hooked into probably one of the best franchises that Nintendo has ever made. So, welcome to Let's Play. The Legend of Zelda. Twilight Princess. It's probably one of my more favorite Zelda games, and I'm doing this on the Wii version. So let's get started. Okay, everything's been wiped out. We're gonna keep the regular names. And there we go. It's just a great game all around. Not to mention beautiful. Tell me, do you ever feel a strange sadness as dusk falls? Not me, really. They say it's the only time when our world intersects with theirs. The only time we can feel the lingering regrets of spirits who have left our world. That is why loneliness always pervades the hour of twilight. But enough talk of sadness. I have a favor to ask of you, Link. Damn, Link's cute in this game. I was supposed to deliver something to the royal family of Hyrule the day after tomorrow. Yes, it was a task set to me by the, by the, man, by the mayor. But, would you go in my stead? You have... never been to Hyrule, right? In the kingdom of Hyrule, there is a great castle, and around it is Castletown, a community far bigger than our little village. And far bigger than Hyrule is the rest of the world the gods created. You should look upon it all with your own eyes. Mm, sounds like we're already being set into something. It is getting late. We should head back to the village. I will talk to the mayor about this matter. That's fine with me, getting set into something immediately. But yeah, I mean, just, I think, I mean, because there's a lot of talk about, you know, what graphics are better, Wind Waker or Twilight Princess, but personally, I think they're both beautiful in both their respects. However, Twilight Princess does have a more realistic feel to it, and there's nothing wrong with that. Just when I picked this game up, I had no idea what was set in store for me. I didn't know anything about dungeons or Ganon or anything like that. So I'm sorry if I'm spoiling it for anybody who has never played a Zelda game and is watching this, but you know, just I didn't realize how great of a franchise this was. I mean, because it's it's almost totally different from Mario and Pokemon and Animal Crossing. But it's still great in its own way. And that those are Russell, Yuli, and Colin. Colin being the little boy. Yeah, because there's a um, couple families in the village. I'll introduce them later on. But they're really not... None of them really have any... Except for Russell and Colin. I don't think any of the rest of them have anything crucial at this point. But later on. Oh, and of course I forgot. There's this person here. But I won't introduce her for a couple minutes. Here's Fado. Hey, hey Link, you there? We just got home, dude. Hey, you mind helping me herd the goats? They ain't listening to me lately. Okay, so Link is a ranch hand in this game. Uh-oh. 
Hey, where's Epona? Well, obviously, if you were here two seconds ago, you'd see where she went, but the camera's basically telling us where she is. Hey. Come on now, hurry up and bring Epona with you. That we will. This is a very, um, fluid kind of game. That's another thing I noticed when I picked this game up for the first time. I didn't realize, like, it, it moves a lot sharper than a Mario game such as Super Mario Sunshine would. But, luckily I know where Pona is, and not that hard to bring her back. So, she's at the spring. And Nintendo, don't tell me that you did not have this camera angle in here and not make it romantic, because that's so what you're doing. Because there's always some female that Link is a friend with, even if he's not romantically involved. Oh, hi, Link. This is Ilya. Or Ilya, I should say. I washed a pony for you. And he just doesn't know what to say. He's obviously crushing. Sight. It is possible for guys and girls to be friends and nothing attached to it. I'm just being stupid here. That's one thing. If you're new watching me, 50 to 75% of what I say, don't take it seriously because I'm just being stupid or funny. Epona is a girl too, so you have to treat her nice like one. Awkward camera angle. Oh, but listen, Link, could you do something for me? Can you use a piece of grass to play that song for me? You know, the one that Epona likes? Sure. I tried to play it for Epona, but I can't just seem to play it the way you can, Link. I tried to pick up the grass here. Just, and you can notice the Triforce on Link's hand. It's been flipped in this game. It was normally on his left hand. Okay, I meant to talk to her. It's such a nice melody. Epona looks happy. Well, she's all prettied up now, so I suppose you can ride her back. But don't make her do too much, okay? Sure, whatever. Yeah. But yeah, in th this game, obviously, because there's two versions, the Wii version and the GameCube version. And the Wii version was flipped because the Wii mode is supposed to be held in the right hand. So even though Link is supposedly left-handed, he is right-handed yeah. in this game. And I didn't realize that until I played other Zelda games, that it was actually supposed to be a left-handed sword. But oh well, it doesn't make much of a difference to me. And here is Ordon Village, where supposedly Link has grown up. And I gotta say, even though I'm not a fan of Lord of the Rings and all that, I, this, like, I, I've watched, I think, the first video, or Fellowship of the Ring, I watched pieces of it, but I never really got into it. And just the music and atmosphere of this place reminds me of that for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. I'm just going to introduce a few people here. Here is Hanch on the left, his wife, Sarah, and Beth, their child. And they run the local store here. Sundry, Sundry's or Sundry's shop. And there's another family that's not around yet, but I'll go ahead and introduce them later on. So. And over here is the mayor, who I will talk to. Come on. You don't have to talk to these people, I'm just going to introduce him here. This is Ilya's father, the mayor of Ordon. His name is Bo. Oh, Link! That's not girly. That's girly. Looks like you're going to help Fado. Good job. He headed up to the ranch ahead of you. Go on, climb on opponent and get going. If you don't hurry, the sun will go down. Actually, it doesn't until you're finished, but... To them, they think time is just weird like that. They don't know that it's all computerized. Or programmed, or whatever you want to say. Man, this place is beautiful. I would love to have a place like this. Who knows, maybe if I win the lottery, maybe I will design a Hyrule back on an island where there's nothing. And I'll transform it into a Hyrule. I'm just kidding. That would be kind of cool, though. Sorry to get you over here in such a hurry, Link. These guys have been awful skittish lately. They won't listen to a word I say. Sorry to ask, bud, but how's about you and Epona herd him into the barn real quick? We ain't got much time, so you ha think you can do it for me? Sure. Because Link is such a good guy. Much obliged there, bud. Okay then, go on and herd all these little scamps into the barn for me. Okay. 
Now, get out of the way, Fado. What I always like to do is go around kind of like this. Just kind of back and forth like that. And it can kind of get you a little dizzy, but kind of get them off so that they're in between you and the barn. And they'll slowly work their way over. There we go. And then get this last two. Ooh, yeah, don't even think about going over there. Come on. Ugh, don't do that, stupid ass goat. Yeah, get in the damn barn. It's your bedtime. That's not the only time you're going to be doing it either, so. Link, Pona, much obliged to both of y'all. I can cover everything tomorrow without having to trouble you. So just sit back and relax, bud. Oh, but, uh, how about today? You want to practice with the fences? Just wait a spell, bud. I'll get them fences set up. Whew, sorry that took so long. Okay then, y'all ride all you want. Y'all get tired of riding? Just jump the gate and head back into the village, okay, bud? This is basically just a tutorial on how to use Epona, which you could just, as soon as you're running, press A to dash, and she'll be super fast and jump over the fences, like so. Oh. My voice started cracking there. I might have to take a drink in between episodes. Okay, quick save. Yes. And Navi is your cursor in this game, but she really doesn't do much else. He or she. We know how to save. Save is not a hard business. <laughs> uh. Looks like a nice day. Hey! hey, wake up, Link. It's morning already. Oh, why do you have to wake us up then? I don't know about you guys, but I am not a morning person at all. I hate getting up early. When I'm up, I'm okay, but if I'm sleepy, it takes me at least an hour to kind of wake up. But this is Link's house. It's a very nice little establishment. He's supposed to be 17 in this game, so... You know, if you're 17 and you have your own place like this, that's pretty awesome. But then again, this is set in a different time when you're expected to be like this. Okay, what do you guys want? Oh, Link, did you hear? They're selling a slingshot at the store right now. A slingshot! I wonder how powerful it is. I, I need, I must try it. Tello, if you and Mallow want it so badly, just buy it at my parents' shop. Do you see any rupees in my hand? I can't afford that thing. Come on, Beth. Can't you just loan it to us for a while? You know I'd get in trouble for that. If you two wanted, save up your allowances or something. But our allowances are terrible. Oh, I wish I was born into a family with a slingshot instead of one with a water wheel. So these two kids on the... Um, Beth's right here, but on the left and right, you'll see Tallow and Mallow. Now Mallow, even though he looks kind of weird for... I don't know, just... He does. But I'm going to call him Stewie, because he reminds me of Stewie from Family Guy. Even though I don't watch Family Guy that much, he just so reminds me of him. Hi, Link. You have the day off work today, right? So, I finished the fishing rod I was making. Link, I figured I'd give it to you first thing in the morning, but... My dad said, you just wait until Link comes to get it. So I didn't bring it to you. Oh, so sweet. Yeah, Colin's more of the shyer... One of, he's shyer than the other three, and he normally doesn't play with them, I don't think. But these kids want a slingshot. And actually, I'm going to stop it here, and, um... I'm going to cut back to the next episode where we will get a slingshot. Peace out.